The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is SeedandEagles.com. I'm Matthew Osborne. He is Carson Simmons soccer coach Richard Moody. Eagles get the 3-2 win in the women's match and a 3-1 win over Newberry in the men's match. Coach, first we'll start off with the women. Another big win for you and the squad. Two wins down South Atlantic Conference. You're 2-0. You just you beat last year's output by a game, two games in the season. What what kind of confidence does a win like today give you when you fall when you go up to nothing, then you give up two quick goals and you get the, the game winner in the seventy seventh minute? It's uh, we made a made a meal of it there. I thought two 0 we were strolling, but uh, even at halftime we said if we got that second goal, the game's not over and, and Newbury did a great job there coming back. Um, uh, for us I think we've got to learn from these little mistakes that were that are costing us goals, but we're still winning games. You know, we're lucky that we've got the the strike force that we do. But um, for us, I think it's uh, we got to have a wake up call in that respect. But at the same time, girls have to enjoy it. I mean, we're uh, it's just totally different from where we were last year. And um, and I'm proud of the girls. They're, they've worked so hard for it. They they want it. Um, and to, to to come back from, I guess essentially them having the upper hand uh, and score that game winning goal. I think that's got to put Joe's in good stead for maybe a sack player of the week to have two game-winning goals against two teams that were, I guess, regionally ranked. But um, when when you need her, she's there. Uh, the team never gave up, and some again outstanding performances all over the field and players that were shifted into the to the back line and even the middle of the park, Camille Olsen, Varn Ness, Haida. Uh, I think that's a player that will go unnoticed, but Haida Ragni's effort in every single game is just outstanding. And so for us, proud moment. Uh, we're two and zero in the conference, four and one on the regular season. So we move on to the next one. You stole my next question. I was going to ask you about Jules Herity. So I'll ask about Megan Peterson. Two assists tonight for one of your center backs, including on, both of them coming off two headers. You got a goal stolen from her by Jules. But what, what's Megan meant for you this early in the season? Yeah, she's phenomenal. The, the, all the back four uh, have been phenomenal. And even with the rotation that we've had with Mackenzie, Alyssa, um, Helen, Megan, Avery, Alex Brandon, like we've just got so many good players and even on the bench it's uh, we've got kids that are knocking at the door, some of our uh, players there are, are, had some great practices this week so it's getting harder and harder for us as a staff honestly to pick uh, the back four but Megan Pearson's been great, uh, obviously offensively very good stats for her to get assists and all that but um, as a centre back I think it always matters how many goals, you don't want to be giving up goals and uh, with in ob objectives this year, we're yet to we're yet to keep anyone regular season to a to a clean sheet, and so that's definitely something that we want to see as a coaching staff, and definitely something that's uh, on the agenda for practice this week. You get on the men's side and you get a three-one win over Newberry, a confidence booster because because coming in on winless in two straight matches. First, it's Mario Stalby, two goals for him tonight. He finally, I think, he looks like he's finding his stride this early in the season. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and the one thing we didn't want to pick up tonight were injuries and cards, and it seems like that's what we got. But uh, uh, for, for us, it's, it, you're right. It's a confidence builder for you. I think that you look back at, at seasons gone by for teams, and, and it's always – it's with teams like this, it's interesting because we're off to a little bit of a slow start. We, put, we were flying in preseason. We're off to a little bit of a slow start. But you can see the players are there, the, the pieces to the puzzle are there for us to – to, to start clicking and it's just a matter of, of when does it happen uh, I thought little Bruno Andrade was the best player on the park tonight I thought every time we got him the ball he was dangerous free kicks uh, every time it was into his feet uh, um, so for us moving forward I think that if we can get the confidence and start clicking we're just as good as we think we are so uh, but that'll be important moving forward the win's fantastic any win in our conference is, is a great win and so we move on again to, to a very difficult game on Wednesday uh, through at Mars Hill. Yeah, you bring up the Mars Hill match Wednesday night, team that came here and beat you 4-1 last season. Do you talk to the players about that match last year? Do you, you try to play off the revenge card or do you just go in with a, with a level head and try to just get the win on the road? Uh, I think for us, we, we, we I don't care about the other teams really because for us, it's the only thing we can control is us. Marcelo put themselves on the field. They've got the players that they've got. The referees are who they are. And for Carson Newman Soccer, it's it's all about us. Uh, and we've got we to play our best to be in a game. Uh, and so for us, I think that's got to be the focal point. Uh, uh, and we definitely have to come out and play. You know, Marcelo came here and beat us. We've got to go to their place. It's on turf. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's always a cold one when we go up there and to, uh, to Marcelo, North Carolina. And so, uh, for us, we've just got to focus on us and building that confidence. Had a few injuries tonight, so hopefully get them back in at practice on Monday. And uh, you know, uh, we, we go on the road on Wednesday, and, and from here on out, it becomes a, a difficult patch in the schedule. 
uh, for us to get through. So I think it's kind of all hands on deck. Uh, but you definitely want to be going into these these eight games that I'm counting on the schedule. We want to be going in definitely off the back of a win. And so we've got that result now. We move on uh, Mars Hill Wednesday. Well, thanks for your time and congrats on two wins. Hey, thanks, man. Eagles sweep Newberry tonight at McAllen Fields for Carson Soccer Coach Richard Moody. I'm Matthew Osborne, and this is CNEagles.com.